Hi folks, Tommy Emmanuel back with you and I'm now going to teach you the bridge of the TE Ranch. And this is an interesting uh, bridge be because first of all it goes from major to minor and it, it, uh, I don't go boom chick boom chick with the bass. I'm creating tension and drama by pumping the bass like this. Now, I'm doing something that I don't do that often, that's kind of uh, strumming the chord half with my thumb pick and half with my fingers. And you can see I'm building it. I'm, I'm pumping the bass in. Now, this is the hard part. If I slow that down, it's... Leads me back into the song again. So, let me slow it all down for you. Um, so you don't have a heart attack. I want you to relax and try and work this out. Now, I, I hit the downbeat fairly solidly with my fingers. Then I start the melody. So this is my anchor, the second finger. I'm covering the uh, E and the A note on the fourth and third string. I'm swapping to the that's a that's a D seventh with an F sharp in the bass. So the bass naturally comes down in semitones. And I hit it again. And I pick that up with a thumb pick. So and I do that because I want it to be strong. Right? So and I'm right in the middle register of the instrument where it can really speak. So if you play it in tempo, it jumps out. Check this out. See, it has power. So, so, so. Let me just do it slowly for you again. set me up for this chord, which is an F sharp major seventh, but I've, I've got an A in the bass. So it, it, it's, not, it's not that sound, it's not that, it's, and then I go F sharp minor with the same note on the top. Oh, old songwriter's trick, use same note, change chord underneath, yeah. And again. Right? So uh, I'm using that as the, as the melody, the high note. Then I'm changing chords underneath it. Now I go to G. Then B flat. And that leads us back into the A minor. So I'll play that whole section for you. Now, this is a, a kind of a classical, almost flamenco move as well. It's just a creating tension by... That's the melody, but what I'm doing with my fingers, I'm going...
This is what my, my, my right hand's doing. That's an F chord with an with open uh, B and E in it, so it's Leads me back in to the, to the song. So, uh, I'll, I'll run, the, run the bridge one more time for you, just uh, at a slow pace. We go, uh, to the last verse. And what, what I do is I do a double, double chorus at the end. Um, so um, it does it. F sharp, let's see. Again, that's the last, the last chorus. It's a double chorus. Now, um, uh, when you get to the end of the double chorus, the ending, the ending similar to to uh, what the bridge was. I I do a kind of uh, a dramatic kind of ending using chords. So let me just do. So, and I probably wrote that because I watched a, a lot of Western TV series back in the 60s and they all had that beautiful uh, dramatic kind of chordal endings like that. And uh, so th I went looking for that sound. And you, you can just stroke straight across the strings because they all work. Right? So it, it's one. That's the chords I'm using. I'm using an F with an open D in it, with a, a, a flattened five, I guess, an open B. Same note with a G bass now. And I finish on the A suspended chord. So the whole thing sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And you can either let it sustain or you can go and do the rock and roll ending. So there you go. That's the TE Ranch. Hope you enjoy that.